Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial we'll look on how to assign and create materials for your models. So let's go load one and we'll just load it the flower we created before. Okay. Also what I want to do, I want to have this group just ungroup it because I want to apply different materials. So we'll go to ungroup it. The one thing also, you don't necessarily need to um, ungroup if you want it. You can apply different materials to one object. So let's expand this side. And right here we have materials and shading domains. And the shading domains is what has allowed to apply different materials to same object. Let's create select faces. And we'll go and create new domain. Okay, and when we click on this domain now we have materials available. So let's switch to something orange and something yellow. The one thing about this, as long as your mouse inside this window it's open, if you move it away it's kind of disappear. So we'll apply it to this one. We'll have an assigned domain. Okay, let's. Let's see what else. Let's select other ones. And just we uncheck those ones. So we create a domain for this one. Okay, this is our domain too. Let's create maybe something yellow color for this. Okay, now if you look, we have a different colors. You know what? Maybe we want to add more dots around with this, but leave it as this for now. So next, we'll create. Oops, we'll go. We'll select the back leaves. and if no material assigned, you can go to right here where it's get new. Click new, and it will create new material for our own leaves. So we'll go to select dark red, and a bit brighter. A bit transparency applied to this. So we'll get us one. Okay. Now let's select the second one, create new material. And you can see how actually it's uh, not that hard. It doesn't provide you a lot of options on material creation. But when we start exporting another application, you see how it's helped actually a lot. We'll create this one. So let's now assign different color to this one. Again, new material. Go right here. Click green. And we'll go to this one. Okay. Let's assign maybe some new colors to those one as well. And we'll do the same. We'll do green and a little bit yellow. Okay, here. And one more. Again, this is a not um, very uh, complex materials. This is a simple materials, but it means you can create if you want it more complex. For this one, we can go inside and we can actually load a texture map as a images or we create our own. And we'll look for this one in another tutorial how we can use it that one. So here is our flower. Let's go file export frame objects okay and we have it so we'll go color let's save it we'll just leave it as default click save now let's open another application and import this object there okay and your other applications can be anything from the um the studio carara or in this case i'm using view so what are we going? We're going to file, import object, and we will see our flower color here. 
click OK. OK again. And it's going to be any of your rendering applications you like it. Well, what I'm doing, I just import this object. And let's preview. And you can see how the materials also assign to the um, our model we just created. And the best parts about this, if you just go right here, you can see the materials is assigned. So you can, if you want, you can almost can go inside and modify them as well if you want it. So we can go right here. It's translucent here. So on the fraction increase here. Let's make one. Okay. Okay. Again, and because we modified, we can now very easy go inside and modify any other properties that we want to. So you know what? Let's create it even brighter. Okay. And if you want it, even you can create different total looking materials. Okay, and let's go right now. Just loaded atmosphere. Take our own camera. Little bit about, and here is our object we just created. Okay, and thank you for watching this tutorial from Geeked Play Studio. Please come visit us on the web is www.geekedplay.com.